Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. Are you finding your photo images looking a bit soft after editing it? Sharpening tool not doing the job for you? Stick around because in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your Photomator images crispy sharp using Pixelmator Pro. So let's get right into it. So here we are in Photomator. Let's perform some editing to balance the tones. I'll use the gradient tool to reveal detail in the shadows. And I'll use another gradient tool to reduce brightness in the sky. The editing is looking good. Photomator is really great at recovering detail while maintaining true to life color. However, the image is looking a bit soft. Let's add some sharpening. As you can see, simply enabling sharpening while there is some effect, is not doing an adequate job in making the image crispy sharp. Luckily, Photomator is designed to work great with Pixelmator Pro. Let's use Pixelmator Pro to perform the sharpening instead. First, let's save the edits. I'll click Done. On the resulting dialog, I'll allow Photomator to modify the photo. All the edits and adjustment settings are saved to the photo and remain editable. So you can come back and make some additional changes anytime you want. Next, let's read the photo using Pixelmator Pro. There are several options to do this. In Photomator's library, you can right click the photo and choose Edit with Pixelmator Pro. If that doesn't work, another way is from Pixelmator Pro. Choose File, New from Photos, and select the photo from the library. Now that the photo is open in Pixelmator Pro, let's begin the sharpening process. We're going to be using a method called High Pass Sharpening, which I've discussed in previous videos. First, duplicate the background layer by using Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl V to paste. Next, click the Effects button to add an effect. From the right sidebar, set the effect to High Pass. The High Pass effect results in a gray image. Move the radius slider until you see fine details appear on the gray image. Okay, that's looking good. In the left sidebar, Group the first two layers. Next, let's change the blending mode to linear light. The image is now looking sharp, a bit too sharp. Too many ugly halos and artifacts mar the image. Let's tone it down by reducing the rages. That looks good, but some prominent halos still remain. Let's selectively remove the high pass effect using a layer mask. Right click on the group, choose Add Mask. With a soft paintbrush and the layer mask selected, paint black on the halos to decrease the visibility. Here is the before and the after. A huge difference, don't you think? And the effect is so much better than the regular sharpen tool. Also, the edit is non-destructive. You can simply paint on the mask to refine the sharpening. Now let's save this edit and make this sharpened image accessible in Photomator in case you want to edit further. Click Files. Choose Modify Original in Photos. Allow Pixelmator Pro to modify this photo. Now let's go back to Photomator. As you can see, when I try to open the sharpened photo, a message appears that tells me that since we've added layers in Pixelmator Pro, this image can no longer be opened in Photomator 
unless you merge the content. The net effect is all Pixelmator Pro layers will be collapsed into one layer. This is a destructive operation and the file will no longer be editable as raw. Therefore, I'll choose the option flatten and duplicate. That will keep the original raw untouched while creating a separate file for our sharpened image. Notice that when I click done, I'm brought back to the photo browser where I can see both files, the original raw file and the Pixelmator Pro sharpened file. So there you have it. That's how you create crispy sharp Photomator images with Pixelmator Pro. As you can see, Photomator works great with Pixelmator Pro and that's one of the advantages of using Photomator. Pixelmator Pro's ability to perform high pass sharpening, just that alone is already a good reason to purchase Pixelmator Pro if you are already a Photomator user. Let me know if you have any other ways to use Pixelmator Pro to improve your Photomator images. Write it down in the comments. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.